be a very close second, wouldn't it, the Reds and Brumbies? Yeah. Uh, yeah, obviously our last few results have been pretty close and tight, so um, it's a massive grudge match for us this week. And uh, in front of our fans, so been on the road a fair bit. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's good to be back home at Suncorp and playing against a strong team in the Brumbies. No love lost between the two sides? No love lost? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if there's lo much love there in the first place. <laughs> so um, yeah, no, it'll be good. Um, you know, it, was, it was a tight contest last time and um, you know we're, we're a bit disappointed there, but you know, we've, there's been many, many games in between, so we've brushed it in. We've, you know, worked on our, our own stuff and I'm um, ready to rip in. So, keep. It was a kick after the siren, wasn't it? Yeah. Last time. Yeah, it was a kick on the siren. So, um, pretty, pretty gut wrenching way to go out and lose the game. But um, look, we took we took so much good positive stuff out of that game. So, um, you know, we've we've added it to our to our arsenal. So we're just looking forward to sort of getting the, getting one back up on them this week. Okay, what was the big thing you took out of it? Um, oh, just just how well we've, we've gelled as a team, and you know we've we've worked really hard over the past couple of seasons to you know to get to where we're at at the moment. And um, the beauty in it is that we've got so much more to go, we've got so much more to add, and and um, you know we're starting to we're starting to you know realize that we're we're um, you know no longer a team with potential, and we're actually um, you know doing what we say we're going to do. So um, look, it's just it's just team building and. And we've got a lot of young boys in this team, so, um, you know, sort of just work it up and just go, look, we're here now and we're just ready to play ball, so. What did you guys learn from the ending of that game when you had the lead and uh, when they came back there, when you, when you sort of gave away the ball a couple of times? Uh, probably just give the penalty away 20 metres more <laughs> 20 metres more back, so, <laughs> so he probably doesn't have the legs to kick the ball. <laughs> um, look, you know, there's in, in times like that, in the back ends of games, refs are looking to sort of ping you there and um, you know unfortunately we just got pinged there so um, you know that's that's not on no one's shoulders that's just us as a team we've got to be better there so um, look credit to them they, they did well there last time but um, you know hopefully it's it's not a it's not a loss we're facing this week. Was that the game where Jordy scored right on after time and then they pulled it back like a, 10 minutes earlier and the other end of the field? That was that game wasn't it? it was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, you got the high yeah, I think, you? yeah, I think he was saying, saying, he was saying, shoulder. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he said something like he hit him too hard or something like that. So, um, <laughs> I, I don't know. So, um, but look, we even without the try, we did well to get in front and, and play well in that second half. So, um, look, could have, would have, should have, but uh, we didn't, we didn't um, execute um, as well as we should have in that last 20. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. There's a lot of, lot of things that happened before then um, that could have sealed us that win, but look, we've moved on from that and. Big, big grudge match, like you said this week. So it's good. Do you, um, I mean, you, there's a few Wallaby teammates here, some next Queensland and stuff. Is there, <laughs> started between the, like, do, you, do you maintain radio, radio silence or do you watch it? Yeah, well, I, I got a pretty good connection with a fair few boys down there. Um, you know, I speak to Slips quite a lot, but every time, you know, the leak, le the week leading up to versing um, the Reds again, because he's a former Red, um, he gets a bit funny and he just doesn't like to talk. He gets a bit shy, so um, I'm not too sure why is that. Maybe because he's. He's realised he's a bit old now, and he's, all us young boys are here. Um, Scotty, Scotty's here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, be good to see Scotty this week up here. You know, he likes to throw a lot of chat, but um, I think I have to wait till the second half when he comes off the bench behind slips to hear a bit of that chat. So um, looking forward to seeing Scotty. Um, but yeah, there's, like you said, a lot of Test players. They're filled with them across the park, so um, there's no reason why they shouldn't be sitting at the top of the ladder. Um, but yeah, we we take any challenge. Do they? They don't, they don't mind a chat. They don't mind the lift. Oh yeah, they love it. Guys like Falau, um, Alan. You know he looks squeaky clean as a captain, but he throws probably the most chat on the field. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see if he can hack the chat on, on the weekend. Um, but you know it's all love. And those we're, they're only throwing chat because us boys are close. So um, look forward to hearing a bit of chat and banter thrown out on the field. Down, boys. <laughs> Talk of the talk, yeah? Yeah, well they've they've done it so far. They're sitting at the top of the ladder, so they're obviously doing something right and they're um you know they're sticking to their guns and doing and doing really well. So um you know you don't you don't sit at the top of the ladder for um you know just talking there. They've they've been about the action and they've been at the top of you know all the Aussie conferences, you know, for you know for a, a long part of the long part of you know a few couple of years. So um yeah, they're good um, but you know they're coming up here now and They've got to experience a bit of fly and fly out, so hopefully it's not too warm for them. You um, 
actually last time we played in, uh, last year up here was yeah. the the you got to beat them yep. to win the title. So they've got the grand final already down there. So you know, knock them off this week, geez, they'll be they'll be hearing those footsteps come you know, come grand final time for me. Yeah. Oh yeah, obviously you know they're they're doing well, they've got they got a a grand final spot cemented, but um, you know, we're not looking past this week. Um, you know, we got to focus on us and and really work hard to get a result this week because it's only going to you know put us in good stead going forward. So, um, yeah, we're not really looking past forward this week. So um, we're just focused on the job at hand this week and get, you know getting a getting a win this week. Like I know you said that you're not looking past this week, but knowing that they're in the final and that you are hosting the semi the semi uh, the week after for sure, do you? Maybe keep a few things up your sleeve this week for a potential meeting against them in the final. Or not? Uh, I don't. I don't think we've got too many tricks up the sleeve. You've seen how we play. Just give it to. We also give it to Nella. Run it up. Scrum penalty here or there. Give it to Rabs. Bit of magic. Fijians on the wingers. Fijians on the wings. So we don't have much up the sleeve. Um, we're just trying to, you know, just stick to our structures and and just stick to our guns. Um, but look, um, you know, Jimmy's always got something up up his sleeve or you know a trick play here or there. So. Um, you know, we're just taking one week at a time. We can't look too far forward because, uh, like you said, um, the Brumbies, they're, they're quality outfit and um, this week's going to be tough, so. From memory, they only, like, it's their um, uh, rolling ball gets across the line the last time. I'm pretty sure yeah. all their tries against that was... Yeah, yeah. yeah. They run trick ponies? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say they want trick ponies. Um, you know, they they got guys that can kick goals to win them games, so. Um, yeah, they're definitely not one-trick ponies. You know, you got to. There's a lot of things you got to do before getting the more on that that part of the field. So, um, you know, they 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 definitely got a good more, and they've, you know, they've um, benefited from it for you know such a long time. Um, especially for Lau, he just sits at the back there and just jumps on for a ride and scores many tries. So, um, you know, our plan is to stop that. Um, you know, like every team does. Um, so that's the challenge for us this week. How's that joy been since he's come back? Yeah, uh, yeah. Obviously, it's you know unfortunate circumstances for Jordan and his family, um, but you know the fact that he's here at Ballymore day in day out and, and being with us as a group, it sort of just shows the reflection um, you know of our group and how tight we are. So um, you know for him to come in and still um, continue playing footy and being happy is is uh, it's good. And um, you know for us it, it does it serves us well too because. Um, you know, we're a bit worried for him there um, and checking on him daily, but just to see a smile on his face and crack a few jokes is, is good for his, um, you know, good for his soul and, and uh, it's, you know, good for his family knowing that he's in a, in a safe space. So, um, you know, we're with him day in, day out and for him it's a, it's a daily thing. Um, you know, I've obviously been through it and he's still going through it. So, um, you know, I'm sure Jordy will, will um, handle it the way he does and um, he's got plenty of love and support around him, both him and his family. So, um, yeah, he's, he's doing really well. Sweet ass, cheers.